Hey guys, my name is Gene and today I'll be showing you how to orient multiple objects on multiple surfaces and poly surfaces. The script I'm going to be using is uh, a script that was developed by a gentleman on the McNeil forums. I'm going to go over to the McNeil website. It's the discourse.mcneil.com uh, website. This is for Rhino. Uh, this is a script that I found a long time ago, and I've been using it quite a while at work and all my projects. The way I found it was I was looking for a script that can orient multiple objects. I've asked several people, but I it's good to always come here to find and ask uh, people in your industry uh, if, if it does exist. So eventually someone wrote it. If you type in in the search menu orient uh, objects or multiple objects that could also work. And let's go look for it. Uh, I believe it's there we go. Orient on objects tool. Uh, go ahead and click on it. This gentleman by the name of Jarek, uh, he was nice enough to write uh, a script for the community. He even posted a pretty cool video of how it works. There is a screenshot which you could download uh, of the hotkeys that uh, is associated with the actual script when it's running. You can download the script simply by clicking on this link right here. It's a very small file. It does have some issues uh, for users that are putting it for the first time. Uh, I do have experiences where people can't use it on the newest Rhino version 6. I know it works because I actually have it running in the uh, Rhino at my computer at work. Unfortunately, I'm at home and the only way I can see it working is if I show you in Rhino 5. So again, it does work uh, definitely in Rhino 5. It should work in Rhino 6. I'm not sure why not. I'm not, uh, I haven't really put much thought into like why it's not working, but I will get it to work eventually. But for now, uh, I will be showing you how it works in Rhino 5, okay? Uh, there's a few things you have to do before you uh, load the script. After you download it, you have to go into the next section here where it says you have to unblock it. If you click on this link, you're going to see that there's a, something you have to change in the properties to make sure it is unblocked, okay? When that's done, we're going to go now uh, into our C drive and look for program files. And under Rhino 5, you're going to look for the script. I, I put it in plugins. And if you scroll down and look for the actual script, here it is, uh, orient objects on objects. Just simply click it and drag it into the command uh, window right here. Not down here, but up here, the big window and it should load itself all right once it's loaded you can see that i have a like a half dome here a poly surface and a regular organic surface and i'm going to show you how it works with using this group of stone cutters that i'm going to do for uh this particular lesson okay uh, let's just go ahead and hide these sizes they're not that important just want to make sure that we have points on the inside. Uh, these are regular, it's a regular surface cutter and this red line here represents the spacing between the stones. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, apply this tool in our workflow. The way we get it to run is very simple. Just type in ORI and it should give you a, a bunch of options at the bottom so just tab down until you see orient objects on objects we're going to hit enter and the first question it will ask you is item number one okay 
uh, just go ahead and follow this these these easy steps and it will tell you how it works okay so we'll select the first item make sure they're grouped by the way then if you look in the command line it says press enter when done so we'll hit enter it's gonna ask you for the base point uh, if you remember I put a base point on each of the groups here so let's just look for the base point and all, all I'm going to do is pull out. I'm not going to hold shift or look for a point to snap to. I'm just going to pull out and right click. Item two, we'll do the same thing. Select the group, hit right click, and then select the point. Left click, then pull out, then right click. All right, so once we get the flow going, then you'll see that we simply select the group and continue uh, until we're done selecting all the items that we want to orient on our scene, okay? Okay, now that I have everything selected, the next thing to do is just to apply uh, our steps to continue. So we'll hit enter when we're done selecting everything. All the items will turn black. The next question it's going to ask you, if you look in the command line, is select base objects with an S. So we can select multiple objects, as many as you have in your scene, and then hit enter. When that's done, you can go ahead to the first item here. You're going to see that it's ready to orient. To uh, copy objects into your, your actual surface, you just simply uh, we're going to use the letter C, and that's how you do a copy. One of the neat things is you can see that we have a surface edge right here. With the normal orient on surface command, it tends to just stop right there, and you have to reapply the orient on surface command. But with this wonderful script, it can actually skip over the edge, which is pretty neat. Okay, It even has the ability, if I look at the bottom here we can actually move it and even get it past the uh, an actual edge even to the bottom so it's actually very very powerful in terms of a simple script okay so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy a couple more and if I wanted to toggle between the sizes it's actually very simple you can just simply hit the letter T or the letter G to toggle up or down in your selection so I'll hit the letter G actually I'll go the other way T and it's going up in the sizes that I had selected in the group over here okay so you can see that it's so easy to toggle up and down if I wanted this stone I can just put it right there hit the letter C if I made a copy and oops if I made a mistake and I accidentally placed a stone that's going into another cutter uh, don't hit the escape button don't hit undo the undo hotkey is actually part of the script so if you made a mistake just hit the letter U and it will do uh, an undo so you can actually do multiple undos until the very first stone okay so let's go ahead and add a couple more stones here just to show you it's still working and the script is known as orient on objects with an S so you can actually continue to orient on different objects okay so you can also skip uh, different sides past an edge if there's multiple surface edges here it will skip right through it okay and also you can go to the next one and continue so you can see how useful this tool is especially when you're modeling jewelry uh, Applying stones and cutters is actually really, really useful because you don't have to keep using the orient on surface command over and over again with different stones uh, in your workflow. Okay, When you're happy with the actual uh, layout and you're done setting all your stones, getting out of the command is actually very simple. But before I do that, I want to show you where you can access the actual uh, settings and info if you want to know more of the hotkeys while you're in the program. If you look in the command line, up here it says I for info. You can see when I hit I, it shows you uh, all the other hotkeys. Again, uh, I do not want to scale up or down my 
uh, object because uh, I don't know what size it's scaling to. So I, I prefer to have the stones already scaled in a particular uh, order in which I plan on using in production. So I, I would highly suggest not using this. But if you're doing something like a product design model and you have like let's say a, a ball that you want to put on a surface then by all means scale it up and down as you want. If you have an object like an arrow or um, an eight sided disc you can actually rotate it with the letter D but I don't really use this but it's there anyway. You can move uh, objects based on its pivot location so if the base point is here and you want to slide the object right from the base point which uh, I'm not sure why it's here anyway you can scale your model you could even flip your model if you wanted to uh, where is it right there so you can actually flip your model inside out so if, if I hit the letter F it's gonna flip okay and there's plenty more but again uh, I just showed you what is really uh, the most useful tips in this entire uh, process so when you're done like I said when you're done and you want to get out of this it's actually very simple uh, on the very left side of your keyboard right above the tab key is the tilde icon okay so if I go to the info exit is the tilde icon it's got a little squiggly line right here next uh, next to the word exit so if I hit tilde it's out of the script and you are done Okay, so this is how you use the this really wonderful tool. Again, we'll give credit to Jarek. I will leave a link in the description below if you guys are inter interested in using it. And once again, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like. If you have any comments or questions regarding this video, please leave a comment below. If you want to see more videos or suggestions for future videos, please let me know. And if you want to get not notifications for future videos, please subscribe. Okay, and once again, thank you so much for watching.